Thank you. Good, good. Not bad. Thanks, kid. Bye-bye. doing better today. I know it probably looked dire last time, right? Sorry if I scared you. I'd been reading a book before we met that day. I guess I got so absorbed in it that I didn't realize how cold the wind was. Do you enjoy reading books? I see. That's something we have in common then. Nowadays, reading books is all I do. I find that they give me a way to escape everything else. I can just get lost in the book's private world. Do you read books all the way through? Oh, do you? I don't usually reach the end either. Although I think our reasoning differs. The more engaging a story is, the more I want to get lost in it. But I'm always afraid to finish it, because once I finish the story, I'll have to come back to reality. This inescapable body of mine. Heartwarming stories filled with hope. Those are the kinds of books I like to read. They give me a little solace when I have to come back to the real world. Looks like the sun is already setting. Time is so ruthless. I hope we have another chance to talk. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Anniversaries, birthdays. I wonder if they felt the same way I did. I was waiting for you earlier. My wife and son. We were all together back when I was still a businessman. It's already been four years now since they left me. We used to stay out past midnight all the time. My wife and I would always fight about it. Now when I go home, I, I don't know what to do with myself. Oh, I just come here and drink every night. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I shaved my head, but that was just for sure. I get drunk to avoid facing my problems. Oh yeah, I guess you could say I'm running away. She hasn't contacted me since then. Must have gotten over me already. I have no idea where they are, or if they'd even want to see me. It's too much of a hassle. All right, kid, enough of the depressing talk. Let's get out of here. I want to go home and take a shower. I decided to hold this study session for us to concentrate on the upcoming exams. Amata, I invited you to join us so you can focus on your own studies. Your presence is welcome here. Thank you for inviting me. I'll make sure not to be a bother to everyone. To the rest of you, I want you to set a proper example and take your studies seriously. 
Are you going to study with us, Korochan? Good boy. Koromaru-san says that he will accompany us here as we study. Well, aren't you a little hard worker? Unlike Junpei over there who can't stop yawning. <sighs> I can't really deny it. Wouldn't mind being in his place right about now. Dogs never have to study for exams like this. Man, what a life. <laughs> glad that you understand. Koromaru-san never misses a day patrolling the neighborhood, after all. You hear that? Think you could keep that up every single day? Damn it. The dog wins again. Koromaru-san may not have an obligation to study, but he has another important mission. True. He's been protecting that shrine this whole time. That sounds like something far more difficult. I guess if you want to be a dog, you'd better develop some diligence, like Koromaru here. Being a dog is harder than it seems. You'd be better off just studying, Junpei-san. Oh, stop! Don't look at me like some pitiful creature! All right, that's enough chit-chat. Let's concentrate on our studies. Alright, I think we can begin wrapping things up. Good work, everyone. And Iori, after all the dog talk, I do hope you were able to get through the material you needed to cover. Uh... Woof? Oh, I see. So you're still learning, then? As a dog, I'll need to give you strict behavioral training. Uh, I'm kidding! It was a joke! I'm totally cool being human. No training needed! I'm good! That will conclude the group study session. It is time for a much-deserved rest.
class. And you know what happened? Miss Miyahara just wouldn't stop talking. She wrote out some weird math formula and said, it's beautiful, isn't it? All it did was make me more confused than I originally was. <laughs> Guess I'll have to go ask again tomorrow. You think so? I guess it just feels wrong to not try and understand something. Anyways, I decided to start being serious about my future. Remember when I told you about what happened to me at school? It was when I handed in a blank answer sheet for that pop quiz and got yelled at by a coda. Back then, I just wanted to graduate and go to a community college or something. But after coaching those kids, I started to realize something. I enjoy helping people who are willing to give it their all. So, I finally figured out what I want to do with my life. Can you guess what it is? Hmm, close. You almost got it, Mr. Ex-Assistant Coach. I'm thinking of becoming an athletic trainer. It's their job to monitor each athlete's diet and help them plan their training routine. So I'll go to professional school once I graduate and then work towards earning my certification when I turn 20. Between the general education requirements and the classes for my major, it's gonna be over 350 hours. That's why I'm gonna start studying right now. Improving my writing is my first goal. It took me all night to finish that three-page essay, but those kids had a huge influence on me. I know I only agreed to coach them on a whim, but teaching them really made me think. I started wondering what I could teach my own kids one day, and I realized I didn't have the slightest clue. If you hadn't been there with me, I don't think I could have stuck it out until the end. And I definitely never would have thought about my future either. So, thanks. Uh, also, I know I'm always asking you to stick around and help me with stuff. I just, I kind of feel bad about it. I'm sorry. I realize now that I might have been relying too much on you. Oh. Why, why are you so nice to me? Are you like this just with me? N no, no, that, that can't be it, huh? 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 What? <laughs> you mean me? Uh, uh, uh are, are you sure? I'm not girly or anything like that, you know? What's happening? <laughs> Is this a dream? you do. That's why I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I have to go. I've got to study. <sighs> um, I'm looking forward to us. Sit tight, will ya? All I had to 
do is look all serious and recite the sutras. I can make easy money from donations. That's what I thought. That's why I set aside my pride and begged my parents to let me take over the temple. Every day is someone's death anniversary. Kinda makes you think how long people have been around. I'm working memorial service after memorial service 24-7. My little temple was some kind of convenience store. That's only half true, kid. Sure, I've got no time for leisure, but I'm definitely not poor. It varies, of course, but an offering can sometimes be as much as a white-collar worker's year-end bonus. But, as you can see, I'm too busy. I gotta push this old body of mine to the limit. I hate this work-your-ass-off mentality. Maybe I should think of something else to do with my life. Can't keep this up for much longer. My alcohol tolerance is weaker, too. I've been drinking too much lately. Making a fool of myself like I did the other day. <sighs> yeah, maybe you're right. Gotta know when to quit when you're ahead. Oh. Then how's this for an excuse? We never filed for divorce. I've got some pretty good real estate now that I've inherited this temple. It's not a bad deal. Got enough money that I can retire and just enjoy the rest of my life. What do you think? Oh, um, well. I'm thinking about asking him to come back. You know, my wife, my son. First, I gotta find out where they are. I'll hire a detective. I don't care how much it costs. And when I see him, first thing I'm gonna do is tell him I'm sorry. At the bottom of my heart. Uh, I'm gonna be concentrating on them, so I probably won't be seeing you anytime soon. Well, I'm glad this is it. One brat is all I can handle at a time, and I've gotta deal with my own son now. I knew it was gonna end up like this, I never would have become a monk. I guess I'll go to a detective agency tomorrow. Alright, let's get going, kid. my reading last night and never went to sleep. I thought I'd be fine since I've lost sleep from the pain and anxiety of my illness before, but I suppose I'm not doing my health any favors like this. Thank you. Or rather, I suppose I should apologize. It's been so long since anyone told me off or anything. 
I came out here because I was hoping to find you. I only have so much time left, you know. Do you remember when I said I like reading heartwarming stories? There are as many stories as there are stars in the sky, but I don't think any of them are what I'm looking for. The problem is, none of those stories were written for people like me. I guess I'm just being selfish. Just like I am with you, too. You're always coming to visit me, keeping me company and talking with me. How much of your valuable time have you spent with me? I don't deserve it. You're spoiling me. That's why I like you so much, though. I was in such a good mood that I overexerted myself. I'd like to see you again sometime. place. Oh wait, did you hear? Cause did it again. Seriously, how many times does it have to happen? This is exactly why his towels stink so bad. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry. I got in the way of your walk, didn't I? I should start heading home anyway. Oh, see you later, doggy. the drugstore before we head home. Do you mind? It'll just be a little longer. Hang on. I've got a phone call. Oh. 
Hello? Yeah? What? So, get to the point already. Huh? That's not funny! What? How do you think that would make Dad feel? Fine. Do whatever you want. Just don't call me again. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. You know who I was on the phone with, right? Yeah, it was my mom. She says she wants to get remarried. I don't really care if she wants to get married again. What I can't stand is how she chose to live her life. Running away from things, jumping from guy to guy. I don't think that's fair to my dad. <sighs> Sorry. I'm okay now. Really, thanks. I'll never be like her. I'll never give up standing on my own two feet. Running away from your problems by clinging on to others is the worst thing you can do. I've decided I'll make it through on my own. I'll show her that I can be happy that way. Thanks for listening. For some reason, I feel like I can tell you anything. Let's head back now. I'll do the rest of my shopping some other day. of the Empress Dowager from the Qing Dynasty. By many accounts, she was vilified as a ruthless despot during her reign. Then again, these kinds of stories are known to stretch the truth. Oh, pardon me. I'm getting ahead of myself. I should let you read first. the right way for a person to rule. Too much kindness and you'll be seen as weak. Sometimes a ruler needs to be harsh. Even so, I imagine the Empress Dowager's final years must have been lonely, given that she was feared by her people. What do you think? A ruler is responsible for the lives of many others. Is it difficult for someone like that to find happiness like everyone else? A happiness equal to the hardship, perhaps. It's hard to imagine what form it will take, but I'd like to believe that's true. You know, thanks to you, I've been able to sit down and reflect on a reading for the first time in a while. It really does help to have a partner going through the same book as you. Being able to discuss the material allows us to broaden our horizons even further. Storied figures are often only written about after their passing, but surely sparks of their greatness could have been seen long before. Sometimes I find myself thinking you have that same potential. <laughs> Am I? I'd like to say I'm a fairly good judge of character. In other words, I have faith in your abilities. I hope you're up to the task. Oh, it's gotten late. We'd best turn in for the evening. Let's have another reading session here in the future. But for now, have a good night.
All right, time for class. I know you've been busy lately, but you all remember to do your homework, right? Just because you're not taking a humanities class next year doesn't mean you can blow off classic lit. Hey, are you all listening to me? <sighs> What's wrong, Fuka? You look kind of down. Huh? Talk to me. What's bothering you? It's just... Aragaki senpai Oh. Yeah, it's pretty shocking. I'd never seen him in school, but he'd always be hanging around town. And now he's just... gone. It's hard to put it into words. I took it for granted that everyone would always be around, that nothing would ever change, but... some things you can never get back. I didn't consider how easily it could happen. Once I realized that, I started thinking about my parents. I've sort of been avoiding the question, but... Is it okay for me to leave things with them like this? Parents, huh? Yeah, that's a tough one. But I think you'll work it out, Fuka. Moriyama, what are you waiting for? Come on up. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Would it kill you to give your classmates a proper goodbye? Huh? What's going on? Um, hi everyone. I know I haven't been here that long, but I feel like I've made some good friends. I'll remember each and every one of you after I transfer. Thank you all. How's that? Uh, wait. Transfer? <laughs> Weird one, you know that? The biggest bitch in school is leaving, and you're gonna miss her? You're transferring, and you didn't say anything? It's not like it would have made a difference. Why make us both depressed? But yeah, my dad suddenly collapsed, and they say it'll take a while for him to recover because of some complications. We don't really have that much money, so we can't afford to stay in this area. You know, now that I think about it, you're the only one who bothered being friends with a weirdo like me. But like I said before, we're both in the same boat. My parents act like I don't even exist. I hate living with them. That's why I was so jealous when you moved into the dorm. That's Kichan. You know, you've really changed, Fuka. You're a lot more cheerful now. But why'd you move when your house is like, right here? Huh? Well, um... If you don't want to say, that's okay. I'm sure you've got your reasons. But if it's something that you and your parents can work out, then do it while you have a chance. It'll be a while before my dad's in any condition for us to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. <laughs> what am I doing? This isn't what I wanted to talk about. You know, Fuka... I used to think every day was just the same depressing routine. And I'm only saying this because it's you, but you don't really get many second chances in life. Natsuki-chan. <sighs> I guess this is the last time I'll see this view. I won't be in school next week because I'll be packing, so... I guess this is goodbye. No! <laughs> Don't you dare come see me off. I want to say goodbye on my own terms. <sighs> come on, don't give me that look. But you're leaving so suddenly. Hey, I'm not all broken up about this, just so you know. I've changed a lot since I met you. I'm gonna try and figure out what I really want to do with my life. I know you can do it, Natsuki-chan. <laughs> Well, now I really feel like I gotta do it. No pressure, right? No. I got one last thing I want to say before I go. If you just accept the way things are, then you'll never move forward. Just like me. <sighs> so I hope you can figure out what you want, too. What 
I want I uh, I used to try and please everyone just to fit in. I was afraid of not being liked. So I always went along with the people around me, but I never really thought about what I wanted. <laughs> That's so you. Well, if they don't like you for who you are, I say screw them. But I like you, Fuka. Even if you hate yourself. Natsuki-chan. Well, I better get going. Kichan? Here, even if we're apart, we're still connected. So we can always talk, right? Thanks for being my friend. I'm kind of tearing up now. Natsuki chan. Even if we're apart, we're still connected. <laughs> I get it now. Natsuki-chan, I'd always assumed my powers were a reflection of my faults. I was always worried about how other people see me, and that's why my powers let me see others. But I guess there is something I want after all. Seeing everyone getting along and working together makes me so happy. So, I want us to treasure this forever. I have the power to connect people. Even when they're apart, my persona has given me this amazing gift. The friendship I've always wanted. You are? Oh, what are you all doing here? It is unusual to find you up on the rooftop. Well, we didn't see you around, so we weren't sure if you were all right. I think I figured it out. Okay? I've made up my mind. I'm going to do everything I can with the power I've been given. This is what I've decided I want to do. Um... Sure? <laughs> Sorry. I guess that was out of nowhere, wasn't it? Uh... You sure you're alright? <laughs>